Hello everyone, I'm actually out on a test ride. It's actually dry enough today. As you can see, it's not too bad, it's a little bit damp in places, the road's a little bit dirty, but I just thought I'd come out while I could, really. So here she is. <laughs> We're actually down at um, Orwell Bridge at the moment, going along the Strand here. So I'm just going to take it just for a little run along here. I'm not going to go too far, because uh, the road's not that great. But it'd just be great to just take it for a little run. So here we go. Obviously, at the moment, I'm running it in, so I'm going to try not to take it over sort of 6,000 revs at the moment. The old Ducati in front, very nice. But the gearbox seems sweet on it. I had no problems with the gearbox so far. Change gear really nice. Don't jump out of gear or nothing. So, happy with that. The only thing I have noticed is the temperature gauge isn't working, which is not good, so I'll sort that out. I have actually put a new sender on it as well, so that might actually be the gauge or the wiring. So we'll have to have a look at that. That's why we're on a test ride to find things out. But at least that ride lovely anyway. I swear its suspension feels great. It's not wally wheel or nothing, it feels good. I say big thanks to everyone that's been following the build, I really appreciate it. But I say this will be part 10, so this will be the last one really. There might be other videos of the bike, if I keep it, but um, I'm probably going to sell it, so this probably will be the last one. So lucky with the weather today, just so happened to be dry enough, which is great. These things are so light. So you just lean it in a corner, just takes nothing. It's like riding a push bike with an engine on it basically. <laughs> Fantastic little bikes. <clears throat> Do sound nice. You know, arrow cans. Let's see, it's still a bit of water in the roads. But say it's not ideal. I've also got brand new tyres on this as well. So I have to be a bit careful. This is actually New Year's Day. <laughs> so better get out on New Year's Day is pretty good. I'm actually on the way to Shotley actually, this road ends up at Shotley. So I might actually just take it all the way to Shotley. Wasn't going to go that far, but the road isn't too bad. It's not too cold either, it's about 11 degrees today. So it's an okay temperature, pretty good. Actually, I think I might get a couple of pictures in here. This is a great spot here to get some pictures. Literature High School, Wolverston Hall, it's called. Look at that. Let's say get some pictures here, It'd be pretty good with that in the background, I think. 
So I'll just stop here for a minute, I'll get a couple of snaps and then uh, I'll be on the way. Alright, let's get going. Oh, it's just nice to get out on it. Nice to be actually be out on a motorbike. I haven't ridden a bike for a couple of months or so because the weather's been terrible here in the UK. And snow and ice, lots of rain. This is sort of one of the first dry days we've had. So it's worked well. <laughs> this thing's so light. <laughs> Especially compared to my Multistrada. Obviously the old Multistrada's a big old heavy bike. These are all good so far. I haven't seen any leaks or anything. No water leaks or oil leaks. Looks like we're all good. It's just a lovely sound, isn't it? The old two strokes. Can't beat it really. Oh, it sounds so crisp. Yeah, really want to get that temperature gauge sorted out. Be nice to know what the temperature is. But it seems to be running all right though, so should be all good. But yeah, we'll have to have a look at that. Check the wiring and uh, the actual gauge. The sender's new, so that should be okay. But that's why we're on the old test ride anyway to find things out like that. Get a little problem sorted out. Do love the old retro dials. <laughs> They're pretty cool, don't it? Like a proper old little race bike, which it is really. Hopefully I can make it all the way to Shutley without riding through some water. <laughs> so I won't be happy. I really don't want to get it dirty. Not when you spent about four months rebuilding it. That's the last thing you want to do. Throw through a load of bloody water. A few puddles, but we've been alright so far. Hopefully there won't be none running right across the road. <laughs> so if you're new to the channel, Check out all my other videos, there's loads of other videos, there's like a hundred videos on my channel. There's other bike builds as well, RD350 LC I've done a while back. Took my mate's RD, oh sorry not RD, RG500 out a couple of months or so ago. That was, that was pretty awesome, lovely bike to ride that was. Went my mind M, but too much money for me. <laughs> it's all at least sort of 15, 20 grand for one M now. Yeah, and there's other things, book reviews on there, um, obviously touring videos. Went to Switzerland and that, um, last year now. <laughs> there's New Year's Day today, so that was actually last year. <laughs> that was awesome, that was an amazing trip that was. Absolutely loved that. Uh, went to the Isle of Man as well. That was brilliant. So I went with my mate Alex from Black Stag Styling on both of them trips, check out his channel especially if you want any um, styling done on your car, your van, your motorbike, anything does some fantastic work we're nearly there now So 
fantastic to get out on it today. I really didn't think I'd get out on it this early. I thought it'd be quite a while till I get to ride this. This I know now about the temperature gauge and stuff, I can be getting on with that, you see. So no that weather will be rubbish now for the next couple of months. It's January, February are usually the worst, aren't they? So we'll see. It's nice down here actually. Come down a few times in the summer, down to this pub here. Nice little ride down here. Sit outside in the sun, have a shandy, it's lovely. Just here, the Bristol Arms. Do you recommend that? Perhaps I'll uh, get a picture over here, I think. A nice spot to get some pictures. I'll just rev it up for you. Sound great. Well chuffed with it. This does seem to be running all right. It's running all good, so I'm well chuffed with it. Now on the way home. Sound lovely. Just keep it under sort of 7,000 revs because obviously I'm running it in. Be nice when you can open it right up. Love it. Great little thing. Lovely little bike this. Right, see you all later. Thanks for watching.